I would like to begin by acknowledging the indigenous peoples of all the lands that we are on today. This place sits on the traditional territory of the Three Fires Confederacy of First Nations, comprised of the Anishinaabe, the Adawa, and the Potawatomi. While we meet today on a virtual platform, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the importance of the land which we each call home. We do this to reaffirm our commitment and responsibility in improving relationships between nations and to improving our own understanding of local Indigenous peoples and their cultures. We also acknowledge those whose ancestors were brought here against their will as a result of the African slave trade, and we work to eliminate racism in all its forms. From coast to coast to coast, we acknowledge the ancestral and unceded territory of all the Inuit, Métis, and First Nations people that call this nation, Canada, home. God of unfailing light, in your realm of glory, the poor are blessed, the hungry filled, and every tear is wiped away. Strengthened by this vision, may we follow in the way of holiness that Jesus made known in life and death. Welcome to Metropolitan Community Church of Windsor for Sunday, October 29th, 2023. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up to the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Jesus began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the poor, pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the realm of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Today, as we gather in the light of the divine and the memories of those gone before us, let us turn our hearts to the comforting words of Jesus, often referred to as the Beatitudes. In these words, Jesus reminds us that God's love is not reserved for the privileged, the powerful, or the perfect. Rather, it is for all of us, for the broken, the humble, and the marginalized. This is a message of profound comfort for our diverse community, where all are welcomed and loved without exception. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the realm of heaven. These words remind us that in our vulnerability and need, we find God's embrace. In our moments of weakness, we discover strength beyond our own. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. In our times of grief, we find solace in the arms of a loving Creator who understands our pain. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. This is a, a reminder that the world's power dynamics are not the measure of our worth. It is the gentle hearts that inherit the true riches of life. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Here, Jesus reminds us to be instruments of reconciliation and healing in a world 
so often divided by strife. As we reflect on these comforting words, remember that we are all beloved children of God, worthy of grace and love. May these words empower us, empower you, to live out our faith in inclusivity, compassion, and peace, knowing that in the depths of our humanity we find God's presence, and in our diversity we find unity in all of God's many and wonderful names. Amen. Let us pray. All blessing, honor, and glory, all wisdom, praise, and thanks be yours, O God of our salvation. We pray in communion with all the saints on earth and heaven, with the martyrs and the faithful in all ages, and in the name of the Lamb who was slain, who alone is worthy of worship. Bless us with your healing presence. Make us hungry for justice, strengthen our faith, and increase our love for others, especially those we find it most difficult to love. Amen. And we pray all these things in the name of Jesus, who taught us to pray. O God, our divine parent, may your presence be ever revered. May your peace and justice dwell among us. May your love and compassion live within and between us. Nourish us daily with the necessities of life, sustenance for our bodies and inspiration for our spirits. May the forgiveness we give be that which we receive, the kindness we show be that which we perceive. Lead us on virtuous paths and distance us from evil. For your world is our world, and your reign our reign, then, now, and always. May it be so. God is with us. Let us lift up our hearts, yes, lift them up to God. Let us pray. Most loving God, we know that you are with us no matter where we are, no matter how we come together. We remember now how you took the bread, blessed it after the manner of your people, broke it, and gave it to everyone there, saying, This is my body given for you. We remember now how after the meal you took the cup and blessed it too after the manner of your people, and passed it among your friends, saying, This is my love poured out for you and for everyone. Whenever you do these things, remember me. We remember, too, the mystery of our faith, that Christ has died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Loving God, we give thanks for the opportunity to meet for we know that whenever two or more gather in your name, even virtually, you are with us. Be with us now as we go our separate ways, so that we can be your love and your light in a world that so desperately needs it, in all of your many and wonderful names. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. Your support your thoughts, your prayers, your clicking on the like and subscribe buttons below, and of course your financial contributions are all gratefully appreciated as they enable us to continue this ministry. If you would like to join us in person at Metropolitan Community Church of Windsor, we meet every Sunday in the Grace Chapel of Emmanuel United Church, 1728 Lincoln Road, Windsor, Ontario, Canada every Sunday afternoon at 2 p.m. Eastern. Let us pray. 
God of the ages, your saints who live in faithful service surround your throne and offer you praise and worship both night and day. May we, your saints on earth, join our voices with theirs to proclaim your rule of righteousness and peace, which comes to us through Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. And as we go our separate ways, may the God who has created us, Christ who saves us, and the Holy Spirit, our comfort and our strength, be with us all until we can meet again. And all God's children said, Amen.